Top 10 lists are one of the most viewed videos and articles on the internet. Some of my more popular videos here on the channel are Godzilla Top 10 lists. Recently, however, I came across one involving Godzilla that I just had to bring to your attention. Now the list in question didn't make it in video form on their YouTube page, but it is on their website at ScreenRant.com. The list is so hilariously bad, so poorly researched if at all, that I can't wait to hear your take on it in the comments below. So today, let's have a laugh along with a few confused looks, while I tear down what just may be the worst Godzilla list ever made, with Screen Rant's 10 movie monsters more powerful than Godzilla. Starting off at number 10, we have the Pacific Rim Kaiju. Now on the surface, this actually seems like a pretty good suggestion. I've already heard from many Godzilla fans, including myself, that they would love to see a crossover between Godzilla and Pacific Rim. The only problem here is that the Kaiju in Pacific Rim would stand zero chance against Godzilla, let alone any other Kaiju from the Godzilla film universe. The problem here is physics, specifically a weight problem. Slattern is one of the bigger Pacific Rim Kaiju, one in the same size range as many iterations of Godzilla, yet his weight makes this fight unmanageable. You see Slattern only weighs 6,750 tons, while legendary Godzilla weighs in at 99,634 tons. You can easily spot the difference here. The Pac Rim Kaiju would be like bugs to Godzilla. They would not have enough weight behind their punches and kicks. Meanwhile, Godzilla could just swat at one of them and completely obliterate it. Now, the article does say that they could team up and take him on, but what kind of list does that? A whole franchise of monsters against one. Even so, they would still likely lose. Now, they may have a chance against Zilla, but no real version of Godzilla is having any problems with this matchup. Number 9. And this one is right up my alley. After all, I covered Godzilla and Alien here on the channel. So of course, next on the list is the Xenomorph, a deadly creature, but one that could not even hope to beat Godzilla. I mean, just look at the size differences here. Now again, they go on to use the dumb setup of saying, well, it could be Godzilla against an army of these things. But even then, there would be no contest. Godzilla could just do an atomic pulse or a breath attack, and it's all over. Even if the alien's acid gets on him, we've already seen in Godzilla vs. Violante that the Big G could heal up pretty easily from an acid as potent as hers was. Next up at number 8 is Gauss. Now, I'll give her some credit, at least they've actually heard of the Gamera film universe, but unfortunately, they don't understand the genre at all. First off, Godzilla would have no problem beating up any version of Gauss. Again, it's a matter of size, weight, and ability. But what I find even more hilarious is that they say that Gauss is in the Godzilla universe, which is entirely untrue. It's totally made up. Pure fiction. Gauss is in the Gamera film universe, one that is a rival to Toho Studios, and one that has never crossed over before. They then go on to explain how Gauss used to be in the Gamera universe, but is now in the Godzilla universe, and that the Big G and Gauss have fought on many occasions. So exactly what is this girl smoking, because these two again have never fought, never crossed over, and any simple Google search would show how terribly wrong all of this is. It's a made up tale. And do I have to point out that Gauss is on this list, but Gamera isn't? Kind of like leaving Godzilla off a list of most powerful kaiju in the Godzilla universe. And now for somewhat of a surprise at number 7. We actually have a decent entry under the list with Cloverfield. Now I won't go into specifics here, this would actually be a fun fight to watch Godzilla vs Clover. It's just too bad that the writer has no clear understanding of Clover as they claim that the beast can create miniature versions of itself which to anyone who saw the film knows that these are parasite, affected in the same way that Clover was. But as soon as they had me thinking they might actually have some decent entries on the list, we get to number 6 with Kumonga. So okay, this one's not bad at first. Kumonga did fight Godzilla and Son in the Showa era, but if the kid was out of the picture, I bet this would have been a much quicker match. I mean, if we're going to have a monster on the list that webs people up, then why not have Mothra on it? And she isn't. After all, 
she's defeated Godzilla more than almost any other kaiju. But they chose Kumanga, and I'm betting that they never watched Godzilla Final Wars either, because there, the spider monster didn't look so tough. Number 5, and the most logical entry on the list, Godzilla's main nemesis, King Ghidorah. Again, this is actually a great choice, but when you see all the other monsters on this list, you can't help but wonder why this one is here at number 5. But hold on a second, before I get too excited that Ghidorah actually made the list, it says here in the article that he breathes fire. Not this time. It never happened. It's false. Now I know that a casual fan may not have the correct term here, which is gravity beams, but come on, at least call it yellow lightning, not fire. Number 4, King Kong. Another decent entry to the list, he did win slash tie in their only other confrontation, but he needed a silly power up in order to hold his own. By what they've written about Kong here, it's like they don't know that the two have already fought before. It was in a separate universe, and I'll admit that even with that earlier film, fans still debate on who won that show a matchup, but let's just be happy a real kaiju made the list and move on to number 3. And sitting at that third spot is the host. Really, the small fish kaiju from the host. Not a bad flick, but the monster here is not much bigger than a truck, one that was killed by humans with fire. And Godzilla is about a hundred times bigger, and a walking nuclear reactor. I doubt that the host could beat Minya in combat, yet their logic here is that since the host is based on a fish, it would have the upper hand in a fight underwater. Well, any rookie Godzilla fan knows that Godzilla is aquatic, and that he fights better in the water. Did you even watch Godzilla King of the Monsters? I mean, this is why Godzilla easily had the upper hand in his solo fight with Ghidorah in their match underwater. So now I know what you're all thinking. Just what creature could be more powerful than the host? Well, it's Colossal, the giant drunk girl kaiju. Now all kidding aside, this movie actually surprised me and it wasn't all that bad. But if you actually watched it, and I don't think that the person who wrote this did, the fighting is pretty much like pushing and shoving and falling down. This movie is not about kaiju fights, and it was never even meant to really be fully in the kaiju genre. So putting it here is just stupid, and placing it as the runner-up is even worse. But sitting at the top of the list of 10 movie monsters more powerful than Godzilla and get ready to laugh here, G-fans, are the worms from Tremors. That's right, the Graboids. And they, of course, don't even call them Graboids. I mean, why Google the name of the monster on the top of your list? Seriously, little worms that get killed by the dad from family ties are more powerful than Godzilla. When the, the dark stuff hits the fan, uh, they're going to be prepared. How could a couple worms defeat the King of the Monsters? So does that mean that Reba McIntyre could kill Godzilla too? I mean, she killed Graboids, so why not? Now this list is pretty hilarious, but in all seriousness, I doubt that they've ever even seen any of these films, or ever even done more than five minutes of research, because a quick glance at a Google search or a wiki page would have made them rewrite most of this list. We made it up. We made this one up. I kind of hate to even reference it as it will just get more clicks and that's what they're looking for, but with that said, bad writing like this needs to get exposed. And I'm not placing all the blame on the girl who wrote the list either. The real blame is on Screen Rant and their lack of proper editing. And I have to bring up the fact that even after they got a few comments similar to mine said here today, along with other YouTube videos telling them how absolutely terrible this list was. They actually took the time to go in and give it a better clickbait title. 10 powerful movie monsters in the same league as Godzilla, which fixes nothing while leaving the tsunami of mistakes in the actual list still intact. And I had to jump back in because they finally edited the article itself, and it's just to say that Gauss isn't in the Godzilla franchise. 
Yet they left in the bit that states that Gauss has fought with Godzilla many times before. You're wrong. Not this time. It never happened. Well, that's it for me on this one, guys. I hope you at least found this list to be funny because it sure wasn't informative. I'd love to hear your comments down below. And as always, take care, and I hope to see you next time.